Outlining has been around for as long as people have been planning to make a speech or write a, uh, an essay or, or something similar or plan anything. And we've used pencil and paper and sticky notes and all sorts of things to help us do it. And outlining enables one to get your ideas in order and to organise them back and forth and to think of big issues and little issues and let your mind explore the whole topic and think about what are the important points and what are the, the less important ones and build it up gradually. And around this point I realised that what I've got down so far is really about the history of outlining so I can then put that heading in and then make all the points that go after it subsidiary to that history point and I can build up my ideas. And I think word processing has made us think mistakenly that we don't really need outlining, but we really do, and students need to learn it. When I think I've finished, I can collapse all of the arguments just to the central essentials, and then I can unfold separate sections and look at them and modify them, or I can unfold the whole lot. Being online, ThinkLinker allows collaboration, so several people can work on the same document, and this makes it much more powerful than the conventional tools. There's also a chat function to help that interaction. I think this is an important application for education because it's simple, it addresses an important skill and it's collaborative.